Happy Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. There's 16 days left for the 2019-2020 academic school year. But we are wrapping up Unit 5, 4G2, Classify Two-Dimensional Figures, 18, 19, and 20. Remember, get in that Google Classroom, same setup at sysdschools.org. Password. Because as soon as you go to fifth grade, you will still be using the Google Classroom. All right, four steps for ELA. Remember, do imagine learning reading twice a day. Read articles and achieve. Read your own books or you can go to Epic. Check out the Google Classroom assignments. And for math, you always do the YouTube notes. Then you go straight to Imagine Math. Math Facts, Math Prodigy, Math Freckle. Here is number 18. Looks like a lot, but you'll see that it's not a lot. Now for 18, you can just see what's given. And then down farther on the assessment, there'd be A, B, C, and D. And you can see all these checks. But you'll see how that happens as soon as I talk you through the problem. So let's center that so it's nice and pretty. All right, here we go. Math grade four, unit five, 4G2. This is geometry. So I'm just going to write geo, earth, ground, geometry. 18. Select the box. So these are boxes. Put a box around it. That matches each figure with its description. So these are descriptions. Each figure may be matched to more than one description. I'm going to underline that. So right away, if you looked at the possible choices, well, yeah, it's shown you right there. A lot of them fit more than one description. So... Box, figure, figure, description. And I will just underline or actually highlight in orange what you need to do. So let's go through it one at a time. Now, even though this is one problem, this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine problems in one. But check this out. Let's just focus on one thing at a time. Okay, has one or more right angles. Okay, I know a right angle. Is 90 degrees. Okay, look at this. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And it says has one or more. So this is a check. Okay. And for right angles, I am going to put this. So right angle is just like the corner of this index card. So maybe I'll do that. See that? Same exact thing. 90, 90, 90, 90. 90 times 4 is 360 degrees. Let's go down to the next one. The rectangle. You can see a rectangle is almost identical to the square. Just one of the lengths is longer. Okay, a square, all the sides are equal. But for a rectangle, normally one side is longer than the other side. But notice how they have four right angles too. Go down to the next shape. Ooh, a rhombus. Just take the index card, your book, a pizza box. Notice how that angle is bigger than 90. I'll go down to this one. That one's less than 90. That's not 90. So there should be no check. No check here. And if I'm looking at my impossible answer choices, notice how they didn't leave a check here. So Crack, 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 cracked. In fact, on this possible choice, there's only one box that's not checked. These two are different. So let's look at the next one. 
from the previous lessons has one or more parallel sides. Keyword parallel. And in this box, just so I can write, parallel, never touch. Okay. Equal distance. So let's see this. See how these lines are parallel? Now I'm going to do them all like that. And if we took our index cards, they follow that, those requirements. Equal distance, never touch. They're just like train tracks. Everybody, I love trains. Okay, so I'll put like train tracks. Think of Thomas the Train. So check, check, check. And for this one, parallel lines. And notice how it said one or more pairs. So this is a pair. This is a pair. Okay. However, there are also more parallel lines. These would be parallel lines. Parallel lines. And even though these are slanted, those are parallel lines. Okay. So there's two. One. Here's one pair, here's the second pair. All right, let's check our possible choices. So, so far, it could be either A or B, but now this box isn't checked. Let's go down to the last one. Has one or more pairs of perpendicular lines. From yesterday's lesson, I know that a perpendicular line forms a 90 degree angle okay and let's do these perpendicular lines our perpendicular sides apologize I like this so right here perpendicular 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 all of these corners are perpendicular sides so check check however the rhombus notice i didn't draw any of these 90 degree angle boxes in there when these sides touch each other watch this when i put this index card see how there's a gap there's a gap there okay so these are all angles it does not form a perfect box so they're not perpendicular always remember a perpendicular line just think of it as corners of a shape of a rectangle or a square so i cannot check this a rhombus does not have perpendicular sides rectangles and squares do okay so if we look at our possible choices this should not be checked which means correct answer is b okay so hopefully what you learned from the lesson squares and rectangles have a lot of common um descriptions so does a rhombus, okay? But watch out, a rhombus does not have right angles. And right angles form per perpendicular sides. That is it for Wednesday. Have a good, safe day. Practice social distancing. Remember, today you can go for fourth grade. If you do not have a computer, go get your Google Chromebook at Willow School, okay? To wrap up, get on that computer. Do your imagine math, do your imagine learning reading, and read the other articles, okay? All right, I'm filling out report cards now, so make sure you get on there and do your assignments. And if not, message me on Dojo just to let me know what's going on. Okay, bye.